So we got 700 kilometers per hour. We know the direction. Why is that direction vector not the velocity vector? Because it usually is the direction vector is the same as the velocity vector. So if we figure out the direct the magnitude of this, we're going to get the square root of 4 plus 36 plus 9, which is equal to 7. Square root of 49. So that direction vector right now has a length of 7. We want a direction vector that has a length of 700. So what would we have to do? Hmm. <laughs> Times it by 100. So if we had 200, 600, and negative 300, then what we're going to get is we're going to get, when we square this, oops, 40,000 plus 360,000 plus 90,000, which will give us 490,000, and the square root of that is equal to 700. Now this one was a nice one, that 7 and 700 multiplying by 100 was easy. I could give you this same question, and instead of saying, you know, a jet is flying at 700 kilometers per hour, we could say the jet is flying at 13.8 kilometers per hour. That is not very fast for a jet. <laughs> but <laughs> taxiing down the runway maybe, yeah, or maybe, yeah, it's just not very fast. But in that case, can you see that finding our unit vector, finding a vector that have length 1, and then multiplying by whatever length we want to find would be easy? In this one, it was straightforward that we could go directly from 7 to 700 by multiplying by 100, and that's great. But a lot of times we have to find our unit vector first and then multiply to find our length. That's the same, same idea, yeah. 